aid workers have continued to raise concerns over the condition in which they operate in, in South Sudan. During a press conference in Juba, the Deputy Special Representative of the Secretary General, UN Resident and Humanitarian Coordinator, Eugene Ousu, said humanitarian workers are operating in dangerous environments and paying their ultimate sacrifice with their lives. Ousu said 60 humanitarian workers have recently been relocated from parts of Jongle following serious violence. Aid workers are often harassed across the country and humanitarian compounds and supplies have been looted and vandalized, most recently in Euro, in Jongle, in Kajokeji, and here in Central Equatoria, in Waushiluk, in Upper Nile, and in Mayandate, in Unity. All these happened between February and March. Friends, we discussed these issues with our government counterparts at the recently held humanitarian a high level oversight committee meeting. This took place about a fortnight ago. Also said, civilians continue to be killed and subjected to horrendous violations, including sexual violence. He said, some 17,000 people are seeking protection in Wau following recent violence in the area. Over the past week, as a direct result of the upsurge of violence in Wau, some 17,000 people have taken refuge at the protection of civilian sites in Wild Town, bringing the total number seeking protection in that site to some 42,000 people. In central Equatoria, since the beginning of 2017, conflict has caused massive displacements from Kajokeji and elsewhere in the region. In Upper Nile, clashes on the West Bank in late January and February for some 30,000 people to flee while Shiluk and the surrounding areas, whilst thousands of civilians in unity continue to live in swamps and remote islands due to the fear of attack. Meanwhile, the UN humanitarian coordinator has said that new clashes since the beginning of 2017 continue to uproot tens of thousands of people from their homes.